Hello, my little chums. Welcome to India's first animator lab tuition. And your favorite teacher is here again with the chemistry sharp shot. And I hope everyone is pretty excited, right? Of course. And I'm also so happy that you're watching the sharp shots. And I pray, appreciate your effort that you're taking to study or learn. Good job. Continue. Okay. So, the question that we are going to discuss is from the first chapter, chemical reactions and equations. The most repeated question from the exam. Okay, so let's discuss it. Here we go with the question. Ta-da! You have already came across this question in our class, right? We already practiced it for multiple times. Let's do it again because practice makes man perfect. Heard it, right? Yes, let's do it. One gram of copper powder was taken in a china dish, okay? And we heated it. What changes takes place for heating? So, when we heat a copper powder, it will react with oxygen that is present in the air. And what will be the product? Of course, our copper oxide, right? Copper oxide. And we know that, what was the color of copper? It was almost like a reddish brown in color. Now, when they reacted with the oxygen, they undergone an oxidation. Addition of oxygen. Oxidation, remember? And copper oxide turned into black color. What change taking place on heating? Color change. Okay, now, when hydrogen gas is passed over this heated substance, that is nothing but our copper oxide, a visible change is seen into it. So, we have the copper oxide, then we pass hydrogen gas into it, then what happens? What happens? Tell me. You have already learned this, right? Come on, quick. So, we will get back the copper. Copper will undergo reduction and forms copper. Plus, and this hydrogen will undergo an oxidation, addition of oxygen and forms water over here. And as we know, the copper oxide was black in color. Now turned into copper, came into the original form that is reddish brown in color. Again, a visible color change can be seen in this chemical reaction. Okay, give the chemical equation for the reaction and name the products formed and color the products formed over here in this case. Okay, so here we go with the detailed explanation. When copper powder is heated in the presence of oxygen, told you right, they will undergo an oxidation and forms copper oxide and the copper oxide is black in color. Okay, now when we pass hydrogen into copper oxide, it turns back into copper by reduction. Okay, so copper oxide is undergoing a reduction to form brownish metal again. Okay, and what about the hydrogen? Hydrogen is gaining an oxygen, so it is undergoing an oxidation, another concept. Both oxidation and reduction taking place at the same time. So, we can call this as a redox reaction. So, they were given example as an exam, given equation as an example for redox reaction. I hope this question is clear for everyone. And if you have any doubt, feel free to ask. Thank you so much for listening to me. I'll see you in another video with another important question. Until then, take care and bye-bye.